everybody! So today I'm doing a very special review. This is a documentary review of a film called The Life and Times of the Real Robin Hood. And this is a film that was given to me by the director and producer of the film. His name is Brian Lomax. He has a channel here on YouTube and I told him that I would give my thoughts on the film and so I'm really excited for that opportunity. And of course I always will be fair and real with you guys about anything, whether it's a box that is given to me or a movie that is sent to me or I'm given a screening pass or whatever it might be. Well, let's talk about this documentary about Robin Hood. And this is a attempt to tell, to try to uncover and explore the real story behind Robin Hood and not sort of the myth of the, of the novels and stories and folklore and everything like that. And they sort of follow the path of his. At one point you're at Sherwood Forest, you're in, there's different uh, chapels that he was known to visit or that have ties to Friar Tuck or Little John or some of the other characters in the story. You learn more about King Richard, you learn more about Prince John, all these different characters. And it's all done through this narrator who's kind of walking you through the process named Mark Ollie. And this film reminded me a lot of what you used to see on the History Channel before it became obsessed with reality TV shows. And it is a pretty classic documentary where you have different uh, sites and different findings and different uh, historical facts about a particular character and a particular person. And you have different experts, different people talking about those clues and those sites and those things and how they all fit into the whole story. I've always really liked documentaries like that. I always found them very, very interesting. And they kind of take out the the work, <laughs> I guess, of reading an autobiography or reading a biography about these big characters and you can learn about these characters through the documentary. And I actually prefer, much prefer, this style of documentary to something like the type that Michael Moore makes, which are very, very manipulative and very uh, there to, to express a particular message or to convey a particular idea. And all movies are there to convey a particular idea, a particular message. But for a documentary, which is supposed to be real, it's supposed to not be a work of fiction, I, I it bothers me more, those films. And so so I like these kind of documentaries that are, are more sort of academic in feel. Uh, some of the things that I think might be a problem for some people with this movie is that it, it they decided to go with sort of more, I would call them sort of everyday scholars. Uh, you have a person who's part of a historical board or historical head of the historical society. You have an online Robin Hood expert, uh, some people like that, as opposed to having people from Cambridge or Oxford or, or you know, something like that, that are giving their sort of more academic researched opinions on the topic. You have the more sort of homegrown kind of research. And some people might like that actually better and find it more sort of interesting. And I actually didn't mind it, but other people might want something more sort of substantial and academic. And so I'd understand that sort of critique. And also it does feel sort of like a television show. It feels like a TV documentary more than a film a movie you go to the theaters to kind of see. But I, I don't necessarily think that's bad. I, I really, like I said, I really like those kinds of documentaries and I enjoy watching them. So I, I thought it was really interesting to learn more about Robin Hood and the sort of what we know about his characters. And I kind of wish it had explored a little bit more the a little bit more sort of the missos and the stories a little bit more. I understand they're trying to get the real Robin Hood, but I think sort of showing sort of the development of that lore and how it's sort of morphed through the ages, I think might have been really interesting and shown sort of why different times of different parts of the world and in different ways Robin Hood is sort of 
morphed and changed over the years to different, you know, it's kind of like what they've done with Batman. And even Brian on his channel has an amazing documentary about Batman. I'm not the biggest Batman fan, but he really shows sort of the way this character has morphed over the years. And I guess you wouldn't really want to go into that too much because it would distract you from all of these sites and all of these things. Uh, and they do recreate some of the scenes of when the Robin Hood is there. There's when Robin Hood faces sort of a, a execution type thing, when he's called out uh, by uh, the sheriff of Nottingham and some of the other characters. And so you do get some, some of that visuals, which was really fun. And it's, it's like I said, it's not bad. I just think it might be cool to have a little bit about the mythos and the lore and kind of surrounding the character a little bit more. But I, I enjoyed watching it. I thought it was an a, a entertaining, uh, solid little documentary. Uh, some people will think it's boring, but I, I think those are people that just don't like this kind of film, and so that's fine. I, I enjoyed it, and so I would give it a solid B minus. Uh, and um, I look forward to seeing more from uh, from him and uh, seeing more documentaries. So uh, let me know what you think. Do you, is Robin Hood a favorite of yours? I've always really liked Robin Hood. There's been a lot of terrible movies about Robin Hood, uh, but I still just always really like the character. And, and I, I guess I've heard that they're actually coming out with a whole bunch of new Robin Hood movies. And uh, like there's supposedly a Robin Hood cinematic universe, which is ridiculous. But uh, I, I'm excited to see what they come up with and hopefully it'll be good. Uh, so let me know what you think. Does this sound interesting to you? And uh, thanks so much. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you later. Bye.